Good morning, Bishop Lynch. Today is Good morning, Bishop Lynch. Today is Tuesday, October 27, 2009. I'm Sarah Baker. And I'm Angela Sharon Cole. And you're watching Be Alive. Alive. Is writing a passion of yours? Do you sketch and take pictures in your spare time? Then you should get published. The Bishop Lynch Literary Arts Magazine is now accepting a submission. You must submit poetry, prose, and artwork electronically to literary magazine at bishoplynch.org. The deadline for submissions is Friday, January 22nd. Do you like poetry? Do you like prose? Do you enjoy acting and performing? If so, the TAPS Poetry and Prose Speaking Competitions are for you. Pick up a packet of rules and regulations and applications outside of Ms. Burrell's door, room 112B. Let's help Bishop Lynch win another state title. All applications and selections are due to Ms. Burrell by November 10th, so hurry now. <laughs> Attention Yam Jammers. Unfortunately, the Yam Jam must be canceled due to continual heavy rains in the farming Rains County. The Weather Channel reported that creeks and low-lying areas are flooded now, and the forecast is for showers and thunderstorms through Friday. Betty Cordell, the program director, writes, We regret this because our volunteers will not be able to participate in this day of mission. And even worse, hundreds of people that would have been served by the food will not receive that much needed food. We expect to have, to have to cancel all the season's remaining gleanings because the sweet potatoes will, will not be salvageable due to rot. For those of you who signed up, there are three options this week for you to consider for your service hours. Thursday, you can volunteer at the Harry Stone Rec Center just up the road after school from 5 to 9 p.m. to help with their fall Halloween carnival. Saturday, you can volunteer at St. Philip's Halloween Carnival from 4 to 9 p.m. You can also work at the St. Bernard Carnival this Saturday. Information for these three events are outside room number 107, Miss Porter's room. There will also be a Shoes for Orphans event at Buckner Children's Home next Saturday from 9.15 to 12.45. Sign up at Miss Chadburn's desk. Auditions for the musical Curtains took place this weekend. The cast list has been posted on the student store wall. Please initial if you accept your spot in the cast. If you are not on the cast list, please consider being on the crew. Congratulations to the cast. We look forward to a great show. The club meetings this week from 8.30 to 8.50, Bass Room in room 502, Lou Lack in room 106, Moon Alpha Fatal will hold their induction ceremony in the theater. The club meetings from 8.55 to 9.15 are Men for Christ in room 304, Women for Christ in the dance room, Cycling in room 100, Multiculture in room 106, and the Bass Club in room 502 and Animal Rescue in room 105. If your club is planning to meet Miss, please let Miss May know so that they can be added to the list. The Student Council will meet in the theater at 745. Everyone is invited to attend. Barbie Cowboy Superhero Princess, where will you be this Halloween? Show off your costume this Friday for only $3. Passes will be on sale through Thursday during all lunches. There will be a best costume contest during all lunches, so don't miss this chance to show off your Halloween spirit. But be cool and follow the rule. N know the three Bs. This Friday is senior night, as the Friars take on Grapevine Faith at Rufino Stadium at 7.30 p.m. Different from years past, we are going to honor our senior football players after the game instead of at halftime or during the pregame. Please make plans to stay after the game and see these guys on the Rafino Stadium field for the last time. The players will be present with their families for what promises to be a very nice night on the gridiron. And now for the announcement of the event you have all been waiting for. The sophomore class is selling boo bags at lunch every day through Thursday for the low price of one dollar. 
Just fill the bag, just fill the tag with your friend's name and your name, and then put your boo bag in the sack belonging to your friend's 2A teacher. A list of all students' 2A classes will be pro will be provided. We will continue selling until supplies run out. So buy early and buy often. Seniors, important reminder: after you apply to college online, you must log in Naviance and mark that you have submitted your application and request to have your transcripts sent to your college. This is the only way your counselor knows to send transcripts, letters of recommendation, etc., to your college. Attention all future and present Friar Cycling team members. This month's meeting will be Wednesday, October 28th at 8.55 in room 100. Hope to see you there. If you need service hours this Thursday after school, the Harry Stone Recreation Center will be hosting an annual Halloween carnival. This is an especially good opportunity for those BL students who have after school practice since Harry Stone Rec Center is just up the street and student volunteers will need to arrive at Harry Stone on or after 5.30 p.m. to find out their assignments. If you can volunteer until 9 p.m., you can help with breakdown and clean up after the event. The Rec Center staff looks forward to working with BL students. Get more information about this opportunity from the volunteer opportunity handouts on the walls at Classroom 107 or call Lillian D. Stewart at 214-670-0949. The following students have detention scheduled for Tuesday, October 27th. Michelle Branch, Zach Canfield, Tanner Idol, Killian Regan, Travis Silver, and Uselman Valero. Detention begins promptly at 3.45 p.m. in room 601 of St. Dom's. Please be on time in a complete school uniform. If you are late, you will be required to serve a Saturday detention also. We would like to wish a belated birthday to Alexander Stoney Jackson, Francis Opara, and Victoria Soto, who celebrated their birthdays yesterday. And a happy birthday today to Jessica Baylars and Catherine Zamora. Today's lunch is Taco Tuesday. And now for the joke of the day. Sarah, what do baby ghosts wear on their feet? Angela, I don't know. What do baby ghosts wear on their feet? Booties. <laughs> <laughs> if you have an announcement for BL Live, please send it to Bishop Lynch. It, to, please send it to BL Live at bishoplynch.org. Please fill only the date of the announcement and the subject line. Announcements will run for two consecutive days. Bye. Bye.